Summertime's winding down with five days left. And this is kind of a summertime, end of summer ritual I tend to do every year. Basically it's go through my wood pile each and every summer and look through my pieces that I've been saving and hoarding for the last few years and see if there's something I see that may inspire a new idea or something that I, you know, can use on one of these new projects I have coming up. It's kind of funny. It's like every year I look at this wall and and I don't know if I'm thinking something grew here over the winter or what, but cuz honestly this uh, this wall hasn't this wood hasn't changed much in the last seven years. Just a quick look around, I can see here. Um, these three boards right here are um, actually some spalted maple that came from a little tree uh, about 20 minutes up the road here, and it was resawn and dried about eight years ago. You've seen this wood before if you read, read my, my first book made by hand, the project Picture Perfect, which is the kind of sideboard with all the doors and drawers. The door fronts, the drawer fronts, and the door panels are made from the spalted maple. So there's another cabinet in here yet. I think there's three planks of it here, maybe four. There's three there, maybe four. So I might look through that and think of one of the new projects I have coming up on the new website. And maybe we can use some of that spalted maple. Over here, interesting, one, two, three, four, five planks of ash. Now this ash is pretty special. It came from the beach. Um, we found a log washed up on the shore. I carried it home, stored it for probably a year or two. That was around 2004. And then um, I had a, a local guy resaw it for me probably around 2007, I guess. So that wood, that ash is the same ash I used on the skinny legs and all side table, which was actually the cover photo of the Made by Hand book. So, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna take some of that ash back to the city shop with me. And one of the new projects um, this year is going to be some kind of skinny box skinny leg inspired box using the same ash and I think I have a piece of the Angelique that I use for the drawer fronts. I'm pretty sure I have two little pieces of that left uh, in my city shop back in Toronto. So that's an example of just nothing in mind, just letting the wood dictate some design. I'm not exactly sure, but when I pull these planks off the shelf and we start looking at them, then the ideas will start rolling. Besides that, I'll tell you about <clears throat> this plank of red oak. You can see there's two more pieces of it. And um, this came from a friend who comes up from Vermont every year and spends his summers here in Cape Breton. And he brought some red oak up to me last year. So it's been sitting for the year. And in our new place in Toronto, where I just moved to, we don't have a coffee table. So I looked at this oak and I thought, maybe a very minimal coffee table, something very simple. So I'm going to cut that up and we'll visit this project probably through the fall. It'll just be a quick, very straightforward, just an upside down U shape. I'm thinking maybe doing something kind of Alan Peters y out of it. If you know him, he was the uh, a great cabinet maker um, in the UK. And he uh, has a great book out. Um, I'll, I'll find the title. The title eludes me right now. I'm not sure how I'm going to incorporate him into this piece. But my first instinct was maybe to do through dovetails that are left proud, like he used to do some cool things with oversized dovetails. Maybe I'll get into that, or maybe on the top of it, there's a knot in the top piece, and I was thinking maybe hollowing out just a natural curved bowl, uh, maybe with flutes or something. But we'll, uh, 
we'll talk more about that in the, through the fall on a, some future episodes. You may have noticed these antlers in some of the back shots of uh, the first preview to the site. Ugh. Um, welcome to the Unplugged Wood Shop. Yeah, I'm just kidding. Um, I don't know what the hell I'm going to do with these things. I may... I, I can't help but look at this and think clothes rack or towel rack, but I'm not sure. I, we may be able to come up with some creative things to do with these. I have another little off cut and another set. Uh, these were in a friend's uh, barn, and he was actually, he had no use for them. He wasn't really throwing them out, but he, they, he said they were sitting there since he bought the farm. Um, so I think we'll find something to do with them. Maybe we'll just hang them on the shop wall in Toronto to remind ourselves of Cape Breton through the winter. This little piece here um, is kind of cool. Maybe it could become a tool handle or a knife handle, some kind of crooked knife. Um, I'm not sure. I've never worked with any uh, antler or bone for that matter. So, but from what I understand um, and have read about, it pretty much works with files. Uh, winding down the unplugged summer. And I welcome you to join an unplugged life my new membership site. It's $200 a year and it'll be a lot of this and a lot of that. Little pieces like this. I don't know if you'd be able to see this. I'm not sure, but this is just a beautiful little piece of spalted, uh, I don't know if it's teak or if it was angelique, just a beautiful little piece of spalted wood. I don't know. Stuff like that just excites me. Check this piece out. This is some spalted beach. I've got two more planks over here that are still roughs on. Let me turn the camera around. So these two pieces, one, two, I have three pieces. And I might have some more over there somewhere, but we've got a few uh, still bark on it. They're still kind of doing their thing. But um, that's just planed with a coat of uh, oil feel like there's any wax on it probably just with a coat of oil but that feels like silk it planes up really nice and I absolutely love all the interesting figure and the grain in there maybe drawer fronts not sure we'll find a use for that so that's just some thoughts on finding inspiration in the wood pile every summer I come home and I look at it and I think oh, I missed that one there's some little gems, just like that, hiding in here. Little off cuts, just great for small projects. Not that. <laughs> some of it, I don't even know why I keep it, you know? It's hard to, if you're like me, right? You never want to throw a piece of wood away. Ooh, this was a nice piece of birch. I remember having that. Nice peach, a piece of uh, really figured birch. That's a nice little box component. Anyhow, lots of ideas for wood. What's that? Piece of nice straight grain, piece of cherry. Beautiful plank of bird's eye maple here. So we have some bird's eye, we have the ash, we have the spalted maple. There's a piece of flame birch I see right there. We've got some other local birch down there. And then this other big plank of red oak. So the, uh, the van's gonna be full for the drive back to the city. But we'll get it packed in and we'll get back to the city and we'll start, well, number one, I'm gonna set up the shop in the city and that's gonna be a solid week, maybe two weeks. I can round up some extra hands then maybe uh, we can get it done in a week but that's what's coming down the pipe so thank you for watching thanks for joining an unplugged life and I'll see you next time peace